You're welcome to today's class. Now we'll be looking at a trick on division, dividing with five as the divisor. You having a dividend and dividing with five as your divisor. Now, before I go into the trick, I'm first of all going to divide this the normal way using the long division method to do 822 divide by five. Now let's look at it here. We we'll have solution. And this is our division line. I'll write my dividend here and the divisor by the corner here. So now we want to divide using the long division method. I want to teach you a trick. Now, 5 going into 8, how many times will 5 going into 8 is once. So you write your 1 here. Multiplication, you multiply 1 times 5 is 5. You take away and you have 8 take away, 5 is 3. Bring down your 2. Five. How many times will 5 go into 32? Or 5 times a number that is closer to 32 and that is 6. You write your 6 here. 6 times 5 is 30. You take away, you have your 2. Then you bring down this other 2 because 5 cannot go into 2, right? It's going to be a decimal. So you bring down your 2. 2 here, you bring it down. It's going to be 22. 5 going into 22 is how many times? We brought down 2 because we still have 2 in our dividend there. It's 4 times. So you put your 4 here. 4 times 5 is 20. Take away and bring down 2. 5 going into 2 cannot. So we are going to put 0 there. And for us to put 0, we'll put a decimal point here to show you that this 0 was not initially there. So but just to clear, to solve the whole this thing. So we have 5 going into 20. 20 will give us 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Take away is 0. So our answer there is what? 164.4. We have equals to 164.4. Point four as our final answer. Now let me show you the trick for dividing it. Let me show you a trick that is very very fast, especially when you want to do some objective questions, not the essay where they will say show working. Now we have eight hundred and twenty two divide five. Let's bring it down here. Eight twenty two divide by five. What is it going to be my answer? So what do we do? We just double 8. Double your 8 is what? 16. Double this 2 here is what? 4. Double the second 2. It will still give us 4. And your decimal, you put it here. Check these two answers. Did you see the trick there? Wow. Now let's do the second one. For us to see, the second one says 543. We'll have 543 divided by 5. 543 divided by 5. we we'll double the 5, which is 10. Double the 4, which is 8. And double the 3, which is 6. And what do you have? You put your dot here. And that is 108. Point six. You can check through the longer routes as what we did in the first one. You'll find out that you still arrive at this answer. So our answer is 108.6.6 is the answer for that number two. Let's look at number three. Remember this place, the two is smaller than five. Three is also smaller than five. Eight is bigger than five. Let's see how we are going to get that one now. So let's put it here. We'll have 728 divided by five. You double the seven, we'll have 14. Double the two, you have four. Double eight, you have what? 16, right? So you are seeing that 16 is, you are not going to write your one six this way, just like when you are adding or subtracting and all that. You will not write your one six. Rather, you're going to put only six and carry this one to the last four here. 
Do you understand? This is 16. We, are, we doubled the last one, which is 8. 8 gave us 16. Instead of writing our 16 here, we are going to write only 6. We'll write 6 and carry 1 to this place, which is 1 plus 4. will now be 5. So we'll write 5 and put our dot as usual. So finally, 728 divided by 5 is going to give us 145.6. That is the answer. We can also use the longer method for you to see whether we actually got this answer. But I'm that is the answer for that number. Then let's look at number 4. We have 543 divided by 5. Is it still going to give us the same answer? Let's use the trick. You can also try the longer route. We have done the two. Now we have number 5, 947 divided by 5. We are teaching all this to help our students in their examination classes. You know, instead of you to use the longer route to start solving an objective question that the Answers are already written there. You just use the short route and just do it fast and go to the next number. You understand? So it can beat off time. But if it's in the essay part, you can use the longer method so I can show working. How this, this thing we just taught now helps someone out there. Thank you for staying with us today. Bye-bye.